So we're here with Hannah, uh, our tour golfer, and Hannah had a freak accident recently. Unfortunately. <laughs> Hannah, can you just explain what happened? Um, I was out playing on the golf course, and I'd just finished playing a hole, and I was running over to say hello to somebody, and went through a sprinkler head and ruptured my left Achilles. Yeah, so just to explain to people, it's not a hundred percent rupture. No, so I've got a little bit hanging on, so I didn't need to have the surgery. Initially, I was booked in to go for surgery, um, but after the scan, it showed that there was still about 20% left. Um, and because I'd been in plaster immediately, it had already started to heal. Yeah. Um, and I'm quite high risk for surgery due to medical conditions, so they decided the best option was to leave it in plaster and just let, let the body do its work. <laughs> So just to explain to anyone who's had a tear or rupture and you don't really understand what's happened, if you imagine a horse's tail that has lots of tiny little strands, a complete rupture is when every single strand has torn apart. Yeah. Now what's happened with Hannah is 80% of those strands have torn apart, but 20% are still attached. Hanging on. <laughs> and so her consultant has said, we don't need to give you surgery it will heal, but it's going to take a, a lot of time. So she's been given a special boot that we're going to show you today. So would you like to explain, Hannah, how this boot works? Um, yeah, so basically um, you kind of adjust it each week to slowly um, stretch the tendon back out after it's been set in plaster for three and a half weeks, toe down, so it started the healing process. And then you move into this boot to slowly introduce m movement and stretching of the Achilles. Yeah. So kind of each five, well, about five to six days, you move a little bit of not a, a small notch. So you've got the key here. You can move this little adjustment and move it down. So you can see it just increases the movement that yeah. you have. Yeah. So you can see here, this is like a high heel, isn't it? Yes, correct. Yeah. So we've got the heel a long way off the floor and gradually each week, your foot's going just a bit flatter. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm actually at the 90 degree phase. So my foot to my ankle ratio is back to 90. So I can work, I've got 30 degrees of movement. And yeah. it's a brilliant little piece of equipment. Yeah. What it's doing is when it's bringing the heel up like this, it puts less strain on Hannah's Achilles. Less load, yeah. Less load. And gradually as the foot goes flatter, it's stretching it out a little bit more each week and putting a little bit more yeah. load on. While weight bearing as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. And can you tell us how you found the boot, issues you've had with it, thing, ways you've um, dealt with it? I haven't really found too many issues. I've just been following the protocol that you're given. So yeah. it actually indicates each kind of what day and you're at in your rehab to what adjustment you should be at. Um, and I've just followed that and actually it's gone quite smoothly as far as I know. I see the consultant on Monday, so that'll be my nine week check. Um, and hopefully it feels, it feels pretty good. It's strange each movement yeah because obviously it's a little more stretch yeah yeah um, and when you haven't had that movement for i mean six seven weeks or so um the the initial day or two of getting used to it is tough um but then it kind of again as it stretches and loosens up it becomes a lot more easier you can carry tea in this i can because i don't need crutches so okay. i can wait there yeah you can't get it wet I can't get it wet, no, because okay. it's um, so it's all fleece lined. So you, ideally, you don't get it wet. So I can take it off to shower, um, but I have to sit. Um, and then obviously, if it's raining a lot outside, you're not really advised to go out. In okay. Because it, it will soak through. <laughs> and how many weeks have you got to use the boot? Um, so I was in plaster for three and a half weeks, toe down. So I went into this four and a half weeks ago. Yeah. Four and a half, five weeks ago. Um, so I see the consultant on Monday, if everything's okay with the Achilles, um, I'll be able to start kind of weaning out of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So slowly loading the Achilles slowly a loading. little bit more, stretching it a little bit more, learning kind of the movement of walking again. Yeah. Um, and then it's advised just to use it in vulnerable situations. So if I go out and about and there's going to be a bit of walking involved, yeah. different inclines and stuff like that, I'm advised to wear it. Yeah. Um, so hopefully in kind of six weeks, I'll be completely weaned out of it but it's going to be on and off for okay. the next kind of bit of time <laughs> so that's the vaco ped boot and that's what a lot of consultants will use now if you've damaged the achilles and uh we highly recommend it it's Definitely, a nice piece yeah. of kit yeah so far so good yeah. <laughs> thank you no worries